Hi, welcome to this week's episode of the Joe Yoga Life Diaries. This week we're talking about meditation and how just five minutes a day of meditation, just how massively it can affect your well-being. And if you're considering starting to go on a holistic health and well-being journey, meditation is often one of the last things that you decide to look at. When we're going on a health and wellness thing, we tend to think, right, exercise, diet, and it takes a long time for us to actually get around to meditation. It tends to normally be through yoga, but we tend to go to yoga because of the physical aspect of it and the fitness side of it. So the mind is all, nearly always the last thing that people consider working on, and that may well be the case for you, and this is very normal. But nowadays, even health and wellness professionals, they are turning more to meditation and they'll say to you that one of the best things that you can do for yourself if you need to reduce anxiety and sleep better etc is meditation now i'm teaching all the time that meditation does not have to be hard and if you're new to it it can seem like oh it's just too hard to even start to even try but even if you sat for 30 seconds with your eyes closed and focus on your breathing that's the start that you need. That's it. We're not talking you sitting there for hours on end with no mind because that is impossible. Even monks who sit meditating for hours, you know, to get to that state of no mind, we have something like 80,000 thoughts a day or something. It's just a huge, huge amount of thoughts because our brain, our human brain is a thinking brain. And we'll be thinking all the time. I'm sat here talking to you now and I know that one of my other thoughts is like, oh no, the washing machine's going in the background. You know, there's always a couple of thoughts flying around in your mind. And to gain control of that means that you gain control over everything. So I'm going to share with you some of the main benefits of meditation today and if you're considering starting on that journey or if you're already on that journey and you just need a kind of little reminder as to why you're doing it and why it is so valuable and so important in your life then listen on and even just doing you know five minutes of meditation so you're putting on maybe a meditative podcast there are plenty here in the joe yoga life diaries series if if you need a meditation just go back through the vault there's plenty there or if you've got a headspace app or something like that then you can just put one of those on and let somebody else guide you through your meditation you don't have to sit there and just focus on your own breathing so what benefit can five minutes of meditation a day give you Okay, well, let's start with your immune system. Because meditation lowers the stress levels of the body, it lessens the the production of adrenaline and cortisol, which means that cortisol is really, really bad. It's like a poison for the body. You need it for that, you know, when when your sympathetic nervous system kicks in, like say you need to run away from danger, you need that adrenaline and you need that cortisol. But you're not always in that state of high alert these days, okay? Normally we are just quite run of the mill and you don't need that stress. When you've got too much cortisol in the body, your body's not functioning correctly because it is dealing with the too much cortisol. It can cause depression, it can have effects on the digestive system, which we'll move on to later. So it is proven that doing meditation stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which calms the body down, which puts it into a finer state of balance, which means that at a genetic level, at a cellular level, your body works as it should, which means you can fight cancer, which means you can fight other diseases so that if viruses or anything starts to change or starts to attack the body, the body is there in a calm state, ready to work and heal you. Another benefit is improved sleep because you feel so much more peaceful when your mind isn't really, really busy. And you might think that just 
when you start that you just sit there for a few minutes and all you do is you think about your to-do list but it's the start it doesn't matter it's about just starting the process and feeling the benefits and because you will start to feel them and reap them very very quickly and you one of the things that is improved sleep so as well as your immune system being stronger you're also going to have better sleep because you're going to be less anxious and also you're going to learn the tools that make you sleepy so if you do go to bed and you've got your mind going crazy you're going to learn the tools that's going to help you to switch off and go to sleep and of course when you do sleep that is when your body does all of its rebuilding it's recharging it computes all of the emotions that you've built up over the day it computes what you've learned what you've dealt with and that is your time to download and reboot so you need to sleep well and when you meditate you will sleep better you will have better better sleep your pain management improves with just five minutes of meditation a day if you are somebody who does suffer with pain and is on painkillers a lot one of the things that yoga invites you to do and meditation invites you to do is to feel the feels and this is something I say to a lot of my clients a lot of my students is that to feel what you are feeling no matter how uncomfortable it might be to feel what you feel is the reason that you are here if you're not feeling anything you are numb and you're just existing and so trying to put this in a way <laughs> that makes sense when you fight a pain your body goes into fight mode. Your body goes into attack mode. So this is your adrenaline kicking in. This is your cortisol kicking in. This is your sympathetic nervous system wanting to fight and fight the pain. If you allow the pain and you relax into pain in your body, your natural painkillers and that relaxed feeling that you have. So when you, you know, deep breathe and so like when, when you give birth and you are taught to deep breathe you're, you you feel into the pain because the pain is directing what the body is to do next to get through this and I know giving birth is a very different pain to living in constant pain I totally understand that I'm not taking anything away from that but to lean into the pain means you learn to manage it and understand what your body is telling you better by taking painkillers, you're masking that. You're putting a plaster over the pain. The body still isn't right. The body is not functioning correctly. Um, it's trying to tell you, but you are covering that up and you are putting your fingers in your ears and going, la, 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 just carry on, just carry on until eventually you get to a point where you can't carry on anymore. And, um, you know, pain is a message. Pain is a signal and a sign. And so you lean into that pain. You learn to manage the pain you learn what is going to benefit you better, what is going to help your system heal. And meditation allows you to check in with how you are feeling, where the pain is, what is causing the pain, because pain is often caused by an emotion as much as it is, you know, it's caused by a thought as much as it is by the actual nerve endings in your body that are actually in pain, there's also a thought process that goes with it as well, okay? So meditation teaches you to manage this. If you think of the mind as the driver of the body, okay, we've got this vehicle, this amazing car, this amazing vehicle that we live in, and we need the engine to be working, so we need the physical body to be in good shape. But without the driver, the body's not going anywhere. Without the driver, the car is going nowhere. So therefore, without the mind, nothing is happening or changing with the body okay the mind is the driver without the mind nothing happens nothing improves nothing changes so you need the mind another thing that meditation does just five minutes a day will lower your blood pressure so we know that that's a good thing because we need the heart to be relaxed and comfortable and we don't want high blood pressure so we want the blood pressure to be low it also increases fertility Okay, so I mean, these are all connected. It's amazing. If the body is busy fighting disease, fighting pain, trying to get enough sleep, then it's not going to have enough energy or good cells to make sure that the body is in a good state to produce a baby. So if you are trying to get pregnant, then you need to be meditating. You need to be calming the anxiety down. You need to bring in it all, to try and bring it all down to zero. Come to a place of stillness and calm. Sit with the body, know how you feel, 
be with your emotions and your fertility will increase. And another thing that works better through meditation is the digestive system. So you can see there's really a link here between to have a good healthy mind means that the entire body system is going to work better. Now, why is the digestive system going to work better? Your gut is sometimes they call it like the second brain or the second mind. Yeah, we feel things. Our gut instinct is a very, very powerful force. Our gut responds to energetic changes around us, to energetic changes in atmosphere, to energetic changes in people around us. If you meditate, when you meditate, you are more connected to yourself. You are controlling your thoughts, your mind patterns. Your body is in a greater sense of receptivity. Your body is able to let sleep better, lower blood pressure, it's more fertile, we're fighting immune system, our immune system is stronger, we are healthier. Our digestive system doesn't like it if we are anxious or tense because the digestive system cramps up. So we want that to be relaxed so that it can function correctly. And when the digestive system functions correctly, it can extract all the nutrients needed from the diet that you are eating and therefore it will work better and disperse those nutrients to the places they need to go in a more efficient way. And if your digestive system is working well, your immune system is strong, the whole body is going to be super. So if these few things aren't inspiring you to just take a few minutes to sit quietly and have a go at meditating, then nothing will. Please let me know how this goes. If you are new to meditation, then there are so many tools and I invite you to come over to kundaliniconnections.co, which is my online library full of yoga, meditations and rituals. So if you're new to any of this, then come over. There's a seven day free trial and you can have a go and just see how this sits with you. Meditation is invaluable. Without meditation, nothing will change. And I promise you that if you start to meditate, you will become more in control, more at peace. Your body, your vehicle, your car will function better when you are friends with the driver, the mind. Get meditating and let me know how it goes. And I will see you over at Kundalini Connections ready for a meditation together. Lots of love. Thank you so much for listening today. If anything resonated or you feel inspired to, please share as that is how we spread the healing. To learn more about me, my teachings or any of the Joe Yoga programs, go to www.joyogauk.co.uk and I'll see you next time. Bye.